We are arriving. All right, Guardians, don't forget, this might be dangerous, so let's put on our mean faces. Is wax paper even compostable? Compostable-y. Welcome, my friends, my Earthling friends. My name is Space Mountain Man, and I'm in a bad mood today, Billy. I come to you as a new Space Mountain Man, a Space Mountain Man on a mission to help you lame duck earthlings this is captain's vlog number wp what if all the people of earth yes you people you people all got together to think of an actual good idea in regards to the problem you have dubbed climate change your ideas thus far are simply archaic ah ah <laughs> The raccoons are cheepy chirpy chirping in the background, but I will pay no mind. They are just here to distract me from the true cause is fixing your problem with climate change. Because let's be honest, your ideas this far have been simply archaic. In other words, not very good. Ideas like, hmm, electric cars? Ah, oh, you think that's a good idea? That was my idea all along, by the way. And it's archaic because I came up with it before electricity was even invented. Other archaic ideas? How about things like you think you can stop cows from farting? Ha, cow farts will never be stopped. <sighs> um, um, me, 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 me. Beep, 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 beep. Cow farts will never be stopped because of the beeps. I mean, it's obvious. How can you stop cow farts if evil scientists are trying to create a virus that causes human farts? Oh, it, it makes zero sense. Simply archaic. It's like, it's like going to a machine gun fight with rocks and stones. It's not science. How dare you? But I am not here just to simply tell you about your poor ideas. Your lousy ideas that are as lousy as they come. But nay, I am the lone, lone space mountain man. And I come to you with some good ideas. How about this one? Try this one on for change. <laughs> oh... Oh, an idea so good, you will stroke your chin hair and wish that you had a beard as beautiful and luscious as mine. R-E-C-Y-C-L-I-N-G. I'll bet you didn't see that one coming. Recycling! Recycling. It's so simple. Sure, sure, you earthlings can have some credit. You take the plastic bags and slap chop it and bleat it. Give it a good shower and powder it and then melt it back again to square one. It's a good idea in theory. You rinse and repeat the process, but you lack innovation. The hand gestures help to signify innovation. You lack it. <laughs> You, you dum-dums. <sighs> you recycle, you reschmeichel. You, you rinse and repeat, you do it over and over again. You're like lemmings. The, it, the simple process is you simply take a large sheet of waxed paper and wrap it around the earth. It's not that difficult if you just think about it. But that is problem number one. Humans never think about it. Oh, the raccoons are annoying today. And the, you know what they've been doing is stealing my essence of raccoon water. 
the chore, they come on their raccoon rockets and they say, oh, Space Mountain Man, I'm parched. Can I have some of your water? <laughs> and, and Benevolent Old Me gives them a little bit and what do they do? They reach out and scratch me. Oh, they're mean. So I grab my gun, I shoot them, I eat them, I consume them, I enjoy their space energy, and the cycle continues. Rinse and repeat. Do you see what I'm taking, talking about here? Waxed paper is the solution. Oh, if you, it's the same thing I do when I, you know, dispatch too many raccoons. I wrap them in waxed paper for safekeeping and I eat them later. It's innovation. And innovation like that will solve climate change. Think outside the box. You can think outside the box or the circle. No, you can't because the circle is infinity. You boxy boxers. I am not quite sure what's happening here. Yes, it is true. I did say wax paper. Wax paper because I have the oratory skills of a British physicist. Oh, wax paper. Wax papier. It does not burn. It. <sighs> oh, you... I've grown weary of your climate change. But I am here to fix it. Wax papier doesn't burn sometimes. I mean, the sun can only barely heat the earth to 134 degrees Fahrenheit. But wax paper doesn't burn until it reaches 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, the magical temperature at which sweets happen. <laughs> oh, st no, but I digress. Sweet, sweet raccoon meat happens if you bake it at a crisp 350 degrees before you uh, fill up my tum tum. Yum yum. Yum 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 yum. yum. It's delicious. Okay. B back to the preponderances. It doesn't, wax paper doesn't even burn at 451 degrees. And that, my friends, is the temperature at which books burn. You'd never have to worry about the sun burning it up. Never, 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 ever. Never, never worry about the wax paper burning. I mean, I mean, sure, sure, it might turn a little shade of brown or tan. It may become discolored uh, from the heat rays, but it's already got a cloudy surface. It's already got a cloudy surface tinge to it. So three words, it's a price to pay, a small price to pay for fixing climate change. You pay for other things, so why not pay for wax paper that turns brown? I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. It's like you don't even want your earth to be unclimate changed. You want it to be climate not changed. That should be your slogan. It should be wax paper the earth for climate not changed. Oh, just read it. Mm. This is a t-shirt <laughs> idea. Wax paper for no climate change. It's gonna be a hot item. Oh, we've got great <laughs> t-shirts to sell about climate. You know, climate change is a great way to make a little buck, uh, make a little money. So why not buy my t-shirts? It'll simply say, wax paper, the solution to climate change. You know, <laughs> so there you have it. In a mere few minutes, in a moment, I have solved climate change. I've solved a major health issue. Oh, so what, uh, so what, what of it? What if this wax paper gets a little tear in it? Oh, pfft, biggie, biggie deal. It's no biggie. Oh, what do you think scotch tape is for? Oh, you can seal it together with a little bit of scotch tape. Yes, the same kind of scotch tape that is clear and invisible and comes in a clever handy dispenser container with a sharp edge that perforates the little pieces of tape. It makes it so easy to pull off a little piece of tape right when you need it most. 
and you, you definitely can think of no better time to need a little piece of tape than when dealing with climate change. Oh, think about it. It's like a good friend or a good neighbor. If I had one, I don't because I'm alone in space. But you puny earthlings have billions of them. Certainly your neighbor has a piece of tape to spare in the name of fixing climate change. Oh, <laughs> it just makes sense. Oh, and, and, and that's why I'm here to help you understand these, these difficult problems. I mean, difficult for you. For me, it's a no brainer. You wouldn't even need a whole team of bureaucrats to enact such a plan. Bureaucrats are a snooze fest. All you need, just two very clever followers of Space Mountain Man could stand on a very tall ladder and simply start taping pieces of wax paper together. Oh, it would be like a bonanza, a regular bonanza, much like the popular TV show of yesteryear. I've got a hold on a potload of gold bonanza. Think about it. Nobody fights, eats or drinks like those boys of mine, bonanza. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Go look it up on the Googles. Needless to say, it would be like a bonanza, and the idea would start clicking in the minds of you puny, puny humans. The rest of the humans would all come out of their houses to look to the followers, and they would say, I get it. I understand. And I am here to help. Oh, they would all grab their ladders and their scotch tapes and their roll of wax paper. Wax paper plus scotch tape equals the future. And the future is waxy and papery and a little bit sticky, but most importantly, translucent. You can see through it much like it's a metaphor. Scotch tape. It's catching on. You can't fix perfect. And you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't make a joke. It ain't funny. <sighs> I've done it again. Every day I do it, that is why you come to my channel. I solve problems. I'm a thinker, you're a stinker. In the beginning, two followers turn into hundreds, then thousands, then millions. And just like my subscriber count on this channel, on YouTube, it would become billions. Every one of these humans with a box of wax paper in one hand and a package of scotch tape in the other, standing on ladders, taping out the sun. Now you may have a question when all is said and done. Is wax paper compostable? And the answer is absolutely, absolutely it is. Wax paper plus climate change equals gone. It's like a poof of magic smoke. Wax paper is made of soybean wax or vegetable paraffin wax. And it is very compostable. If it's made of petroleum wax, then it is not compostable. And you'd have to be real dumb dumb to put petroleum oil wax on your waxed paper. It's a no-no of the highest order. Do not do it. I don't care who you are. And I do not want to hear any more crap about it. <sighs> wax paper equals oil plus heat from the sun equals fire. It's simple science. It's like algebra. It's mathematical. It's not hard for me to understand because I have a huge brain. My cranium is exponentially larger than that of a puny earth human. It could be something of doo doo with the gravity of earth versus a, a, a mountain floating in space. Oh, but I doubt it. My brain has always been massive. Oh. Listen up, listen up, Bill Gates is up there on stage giving his TED talk about overpopulation. And he never once thought to block out the sun with waxed paper. And you think he's smart. He's also very old. He's old. And that's why he keeps coming up with archaic ideas. He wears a vest in the middle of summer. <laughs> that should tell you something. Oh. 
What does that tell you? It tells you he doesn't know how hot the sun is. And if he doesn't know how hot the sun is, how can he know how to block it out? Oh, here is some more algebra for you, okay? Uh, Occam's razor plus climate change equals wax paper plus solar flares. Mm. Just never ever use parchment paper to block out the sun. Parchment paper is cellulose. That's a big fancy word for non-stick, meaning the sun's rays wouldn't stick to it. Cellulose is also wood. Guess what, Sherlock? Wood burns with a fervent heat that most certainly would change the climate temperatures of your little planet. It's nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. The truth is I've solved all of Earth's problems in this episode. What will I think of next? And I don't think I could have spoken any more clearly to you. Oh, it's like speaking to infants. My work here is done. I am finished. I do not create problems. I solve them. That is what a thinker does. A thinker with a beard. Let me know in the comments below what t-shirt you'll be wearing when the climate D changes. It should be a t-shirt celebration. This has got to be the most rambly episode I've ever bestowed upon you puny earthlings. Goodbye and take a hike. Signing out.